Hi Libra, welcome to your spirit messages for April. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, I'm bringing back these readings. I don't know if you're familiar with my channel, but if you are, I did them last year into the beginning of the new year, and then I kind of uh, discontinued them for a while. But if you participated in the polls I've had on my community uh, section, I had some polls what kind of readings you'd like to see, and this was part of one of the... Um, selections was to bring these readings back so i hope you like this if you do please leave me some feedback comments um, on how you like these and hopefully we'll get something here that you can resonate with so this is for sun moon rising and venus well not venus uh, jupiter male or female watching could be past present future but this is guidance advice or maybe things you need to know right now so maybe there may be some things that you may or may not resonate so please keep that in mind for Libra. So I will pick three oracles from each deck. Then I'll probably pull one or two tarot cards for each oracle just to give a little more meaning. And then I have these prayer cards here I actually purchased at the Dollar Tree. There were two uh, car two decks and I put them together. So I will give you sort of like a prayer or affirmation, however you would like to call it. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everyone's staying safe during this time. So let's see what Spirit has for Libra, please. Thank you so much. And Libra, you can find everything you need to know down below in the description box, as well as the first pinned top comment. Um, if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. Also, the decks will uh, give you a link if you'd like to purchase any for yourself. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is below. If you're not comfortable using PayPal, if you wish to send a donation, um, Super Chat is open during the premiere only for tips and donations. If you do, thank you. <coughs> Choking on Sage. And your playlists are below, General and Love, if you choose to watch past readings. All right, so what do we have? <coughs> Sorry, for Libra, please. What do we have? Oh, way too many. So we need some messages for Libra. What do they need to know? Way too many at this time, Spirit, please, for Libra. Oh, there we go. We have two. One more for Libra. One more. Thank you. All right. So we have new exercise programs. So maybe some of you need to uh, get back out or now's a good time <laughs> if you're in isolation or quarantine now's a good time to set up a new exercise program you've been thinking about doing that and then we have self-care so that couldn't be more appropriate together there and then we do have relationship dynamics so some of you could be um, something to do with a relationship your family if you are you know quarantined together maybe this is a family setting up a new some sort of new self-care and exercise program that's kind of what I'm getting. Try to become healthier during this time. All right. That relationship dynamics could be anything having to do with a relationship. Um, it could be good. It can be bad. Um, if it's, it could be with a lover. It could just be your family. It could be, um, you know, brothers, sisters. So we're going to clarify with Tarot a little later. But I'm just kind of getting, you know, <clears throat> even if it's not, you know, if you're single, it could be with your, you know, well, if probably quarantine from your brothers or sisters if you have any or anything like that but uh if you are you know in a relationship dynamic where you are a family i feel like now's a good time to set up a new healthier maybe lifestyle or program or something like that okay don't forget to take care of yourself during this time all right so what else do we have for libra at this time what else do we have okay i'm feeling these two and i need one more for libra please one more for libra one more for libra all right Let's see what we have family harmony wow family harmony relationship dynamics <laughs> wow chrysanthemum your loved ones Form a strong pillar of support. Embrace their love and put past issues behind you. Could be uh, for some of you here. And that could be the self-care and the relationship dynamics is bringing harmony back into a family. 
here, putting the past in the past. We have chakra clearing, lotus. By clearing your chakras, you open yourself up to profound wisdom. So some of you may need to clear your chakra, your chakras. <clears throat> and we have here, be positive. Your thoughts can shape your experience, so be sure to focus on the positive. So, you know, it's a very trying time right now in the world, and I know sometimes it's hard to be positive, but, um, and maybe for some of you, what's going on right now, especially if you're really sensitive or you're an empath or you're spiritual, maybe everything in the world right now is really weighing on you heavily, weighing you down, uh, mentally, physically, whatever here. Maybe you just need to, um, again, balance out your chakras, heal your chakras. Maybe not pay so much attention to the news and that kind of energy, maybe even social media, so we can get more in a positive mind state. Could also be everything going on in the world today is maybe um, bringing a little disruption in your family in some way, shape, or form. Or I'm just getting for some of you, uh, <clears throat> you know, maybe you just have a very uh, harmonious family dynamic here for some of you. All right, so however those messages resonate for you. But these are messages or guidance or whatever. So the Spirit wants you to know um, you can bring back relationship dynamics if there's been any struggles or hardships. You can bring that back. Leave the past in the past. Um, and maybe time here to set up some sort of new exercise uh, self-care routine. All right, so let's get some of these messages for Libra Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What do they need to know at this time? Okay, I'm feeling actually these three right on the top. <clears throat> let's see what we have this way. For Libra, clouds, shape-shifting. Gaia, nurturing. Again, getting out in nature. I think you still can go out in nature, uh, get some exercise, grounding energy. And autumnal equinox release. So this is the uh, fall energy. <coughs> can be about could be about this past fall, this coming fall, or just the energy of fall about releasing things no longer serving you, in some way, shape, or form. People, places, things, emotions situations uh here nurturing yourself your family um some of you may be exercising getting back out in nature and the shape shifting can be um adjusting yourself to whatever situation you're in kind of energy that's that shape shifting energy is you know transforming and adjusting yourself in whatever situations that you need to however that means for you. All right, I'm not saying to be like fake, but um, I don't know. <laughs> to me, I mean that always, you know, in the book it says to don't be afraid to, you know, experience with new looks, new attitudes, new, um, you know, doing your hair different, your makeup different, wearing or trying new clothes trying new things, getting out with different people, you know, and seeing how you fit in kind of energy. I'm not saying, not saying to be fake to fit in, but it's like trying something new and trying it out. See how it, how it fits you. All right. So, and I know right now is not a good time. You can't really get out, but maybe come the fall time, we may be all be getting back out there, you know, back to normal. And it's telling you here it could be, you know, trying new things, doing new things. All right. So what is this exercise program? New exercise program for Libra. I do ask Libra if you're new, you like my style and how I read, feel free to check out my channel. And um, if you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. You get about five readings a month. So don't forget to hit the bell and you won't miss out. You get a love, a general. Um, I'm bringing back the singles readings the spirit messages and a bonus reading where we, where we take a little look of everything. So yeah, the seven of pentacles energy here is an energy of kind of just like waiting, like assessing, evaluating, you know, maybe you've invested in something, but now you're waiting. 
on the, the fruits of the labor and just kind of assessing kind of energy. So it's like waiting. So maybe you've been waiting to start a new exercise program. Maybe you've been working, maybe you worked a lot before. Pentacles is all about um, career work finance. So, you know, maybe you worked a lot before, but now everybody's stuck home. You know, maybe you kept putting off starting a new program because, oh, I work too much. I work too much. But now is a new time, especially if you're stuck at home, to try something new. Maybe something new that you would like that would fit you. So then you can incorporate it into your daily, back to your daily schedule once everything's back to normal. So what is self care for cups? So this is feeling kind of bored, melancholy and blah kind of energy, just kind of still stagnant, bored and blah. So yeah. So some of you haven't been happy with, you know, with your, either your appearance or how you're feeling, you know, just kind of feeling bored with your energy. Again, you know, it's time to revamp your self care. So relationship dynamic, and we have the 10 of cups here and I felt that energy total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way and a family dynamics. So love and abundance. So yeah, I feel like a very happy home and family energy here. So what is this family harmony? And there's the family harmony right there with the 10 of cups. So two of swords though, it's about indecisiveness. So this can be, <clears throat> if it's not your immediate family, like your spouse and your children, if that's your case, if this is like your extended family, your brothers, your sisters, or cousins, or whatever here, or friends that are like family, or even coworkers. You know, this is about being indecisive, about, you know, making a decision. So this is, you know, deciding, needing to decide to leave things in the past so you can bring back harmony. Maybe you've been indecisive about that. But it's telling you here, uh, time to embrace if someone's been trying to reconcile here and you're unsure it's telling you here um to embrace it and let the past be the past and leave it behind you bring harmony back in so what is chakra uh clearing about for libra eight of pentacles so again working 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 putting in the dedicated dedicated effort and the hard work so again, you know, if it's not life, circumstances, everything going on in the world right now, maybe you were working hard, you know, before all this happened, maybe you worked, 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 and now all of a sudden you're just stuck at home and, you know, that's feeling that bored complacently, complacency energy. Maybe now is a good time to do some self-healing also. Um, you can look up chakra clearing on YouTube also. There's a lot of guided meditations, chakra clearings. Um, you can also probably find readers on YouTube that actually do chakra clearing. You may have to purchase the services, but um, you may be able to find some free stuff out there too. So what does be positive about Ten of Swords? So you may feel, some of you, you feel like the world's coming to an end. <laughs> that's what, <clears throat> what everything going on right now. And that's what I felt earlier. Like so much weighing you down, like everything going on especially if you're a very sensitive person, seeing all this really weighing you down, feeling everything, Ten of Swords is about coming to an end. Everything is just like coming to an end. But it's telling you to try to stay positive. So feel like get out of your own thoughts. Um, don't watch so much TV, social media kind of energy either for some of you. All right, so what is this clouds and shape shifting about for Libra? Five of Pentacles. So, again, f abandonment, loneliness, left out in the cold energy. I mean, we all feel that way now. We're stuck at home. We're not working. Some of us um, just feeling that energy of feeling abandoned and neglected from everything and everybody. Being, you know, in um, a solitary energy. So let's get, I feel like I need one more for why the Five of Pentacles is here for shape-shifting. Then we have the Nine of Cups, so happiness, joy, wish fulfillment in every single way. So yeah, I feel like once, <laughs> once life is back to normal here, go get your wish fulfillment, your happiness, your joy. You know, maybe if you 
don't like go out drinking or you don't party. I'm not saying going out partying and get drunk, but you don't, maybe it's here to try to some things you wouldn't normally try or normally do, you know, here just to try something different. Once we get out of this energy as with that shape shifting. All right. So what is this Gaia nurturing about for Libra, Libra, Libra? Six of Swords. So it's about healing, balance, going to a much better place. So it can also be about traveling. I'm feeling like, you know, if you feel about the country or you're able to go out, get out there and go walking, get out in nature, go for a hike, get, get in the woods, it'd be very nurturing for you. I think it'll bring you a lot of healing and balance and bring you in a much better like mind state, physical state also. So I'm getting with that. I'm getting like just move your body, body or just move, move, move kind of energy. Right. So what is this autumn release for Libra? The Hermit. So this is about going within, reflecting, being in Hermit mode. I think we're all in Hermit mode right now. So <clears throat> I think we'll all be back to normal way before autumn I hope <laughs> but um, you know the hermit that goes in does some introspection soul searching work finds their path the way their light so you may be you know soul searching now or really thinking about things right now where we're all in this state maybe by the time the fall comes you know uh, and once we get back to normal once you know people living their lives back to normal and as time passes, then you may realize um, by fall time, something may need to be released because you've already thought about it. But maybe you just need to wait for the right time and the right time may be in the fall, if that makes sense for anybody. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the emperor. So yeah, this is taking the lead. Emperor, empress, doesn't matter. Taking the lead, taking control, charge, being in a boss, entrepreneurship uh, or something like that. Could be a fatherly figure also that means anything to anybody so this could be just you taking control of your life now you know realizing okay maybe i need to you know pay more attention to my health my body um mending you know friends family mending situations there balancing out your energy healing yourself trying to get in a more positive mindset set Feel like once we come out of this energy, you know, trying some new things on for size, you know, even if it's cutting your hair, uh, you know, wearing a whole new wardrobe, something you wouldn't normally wear or makeup or <clears throat> just trying new things. See what suits you, fits you. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And getting out in nature and maybe in the fall, maybe needing to release something. Here. So how about that resonates for you, Libra? All right. So... Let's get some, we're going to pull one of these for you, a little prayer affirmation <clears throat> from these cards. <clears throat> what do we have for Libra? What prayer affirmation do we have for Libra? Spirit, please, thank you so much for Libra. What prayer affirmation <clears throat> do we have for Libra? Okay, I'm feeling that one. So we have here, we love because he first loved us. So that, of course, is talking about uh, the higher beings, uh, whatever it is for you. So, yeah, this is just telling you here. Uh, you know, you can love those that you loved before. You can love them again. And being in that loving energy, I feel. And knowing that source always loves us and it's all okay to love back in any way, shape, or form. Okay, Libra, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light in. Good luck to you, Libra.